The Ivy League on ESPN presents the 2022 Barbara and Don Tonry Invitational from the John J. Lee Amphitheater on the campus of Yale University. This year is a special year for the Tonry Invitational as we celebrate the life of Barbara Tonry, legendary Yale head coach, the first and only head coach through the first generations of Yale gymnastics. We join the public address system for a tribute to Coach Tonry. To present to you a special video from our senior class honoring them and their legacy. Barb was and will always be the heart and soul of the Yale gymnastics team. She created a program that emulated a family and brought together generations of gymnasts. Barb was more than just an accomplished head coach to YGT. She was a leader and an inspiration to athletes and females all around the country. She never failed to check in on us, not just as athletes, but as people too. Some of the lasting words that always remind us of Barb are classy, tenacious, strong, driven, empowered, passionate. Having paved the way for female athletes at Yale, Barb touched the lives of so many. The incredible legacy that she built will forever live on in all of us. If it weren't for Barb, YGT wouldn't exist today. The Tonnery Invitational for 2022 is on the other side. Barbara and Don Tonnery are Yale, were Yale institutions. Don Tonnery started the varsity men's program here at Yale, and Barbara Tonnery, the only coach ever for the women's program. We honor them today with the competition between four teams that have just as big a part of those history, Southern Connecticut State, Bridgeport, Springfield College and Yale University. When we return, we will have competition at the 2022 Don, Don and Barbara Tonnery Invitational. Don't go anywhere. The Ivy League on ESPN continues after this. John J. Lee Amphitheater on the campus of Yale University. It's the 2022 Tonnery Invitational honoring Don and Barbara Tonnery. Uh, Yale gymnastics legends that we've lost. And, and we welcome you inside our broadcast booth, Evan Ellis alongside Josh McGee and Josh. An incredible opportunity for four teams of gymnasts to continue to improve on their scores and set themselves up for a successful season as we continue to progress through this competition season. Yes, this is week five of the college gymnastics week. And I think this is the time for each team to, you know, just zone in into the moment and, you know, um, just keep going because it is time of that season where you do need to pick up the pace. And those scores will continue to roll in as we get ready for the first rotation and so many great gymnasts competing this afternoon. We, here's how the meet will go. We'll start this first rotation. Yale will be on the vault. The Southern Connecticut State Owls will be on the beam. Bridgeport will be on the bars, and Springfield College will be on the floor exercise. So that's how it'll go. And Josh, your gymnast, is there a specific apparatus that you like to start off with, or is it just tell me what I'm doing and we'll get it done? The event I prefer to start on is probably the floor exercise. I like to start on my strength event. The event where I can score the highest because as the meet goes on, you have to touch each event. And the event I would like to touch first is the floor exercise. All right. Nice way to start. And that's where the Springfield College will be starting this afternoon. So the Barbara and Don Tonry Invitational this afternoon at Yale. Such a special day for the Yale gymnastics community and an event that has been a such a cornerstone of the, the Yale gymnastics schedule throughout the year. So we'll have that here this afternoon and Yale will start off on the bar or on the on the vault and you really can't talk about Yale gymnastics this season without talking about Lindsay Chia who has just been an incredible performer for the Bulldogs this year. 
And I would also like to mention Reagan Walker. Absolutely. Who is a beautiful gymnast. I saw her in warm-up. She warmed up the beautiful beam routine um, on vault. Has a beautiful Yurchenko half twist. And she's going to be a rock for this team. Strong all-around gymnast. Yeah, Reagan Walker will be coming up fifth on the vault for the Bulldogs. Lindsey Chia will anchor the vault in the sixth spot. So Sarah Wills. And there is Andy Lee, who is the interim head coach here at Yale and, and doing an incredible job with this team. Stepping into the shoes of Barbara Tonry, who is the only coach Yale had ever had uh, for the women's gymnastics program. So Andy in what is his first season uh, as the head interim head coach and also helped lead Yale to the Ivy Classic in 2020. And then there is Byron Knox, the head coach for the Southern Connecticut State Owls in his first year with Southern Connecticut, coming over, ironically, from Bridgeport and has a stacked roster of gymnasts for the Owls this year. A very large roster for them. And then for Bridgeport, Lorraine Gallo is the head coach for Bridgeport in that huddle in her first season. So here we go, getting ready for the first rotation of the Tonry Invitational. And Springfield's head coach is Jen Nychuk uh, for the Falcons. So here we go, getting ready for rotation number one. Yale will start on the vault. Southern on the beam, Bridgeport on the bars, and Springfield on the floor exercise. And going first for the Bulldogs is Sarah Wilson on the vault. Does it your chinkle tuck full? It's a little short on the landing. Didn't get the block that she needed to, but overall, it was a great start for Yale. So Yale getting started with Sarah Wilson. And as we head to the beam for Southern Connecticut, it is Brianna Daniels. Leap series, switch leap to leap quarter. Beautifully done. You know, it's something about the beam. You have to be confident because the moment you fake confidence is the moment you're off. But she's handling it very well. Aerial to full. Almost gets that landing. So the dismount from Daniels. And we'll head over to the bars just all around the world. All this action going on at one time. Oh. As starting off on the bars, Delaney Fields for Bridgeport. Looked like she didn't quite get her hands around the bar. Went for a free hip to a ganger. She has 30 seconds to mount the bar. And in this moment, Sometimes you either have to do the scale again. But she got her hands around the bar, remounting the bar. So over to the floor for Springfield College, Rayanna Schutz. Or Shut is getting things started for the Falcons in the middle of her routine. Beautiful one and a half to front layout. Couldn't tell she went out of bounds there. And on floor, of course, the tumbling is important, but you really want to make sure that you're enjoying yourself. Absolutely. It's all about fun. It's all about that expression and personality. She's bearing up for a front full to tuck. A little under-rotated, but she gets it around. So in a quad meet, action going all the way around us as we take a look at here is Oren Aviad for the Bulldogs. And take a look at this. Just nails the landing. Aviad had the high score on vault last Sunday for the Bulldogs. And getting this super Sunday of the Tonnery Invitational started with big marks.
So coming up next, we will head to the beam. And for Southern, it'll be Emily Call. And that was Noelle Macias leading things off on the beam for Southern. And she's going to take a breath and get ready to start things on again. So we'll head over to the bars. As up next on the bars for Bridgeport, it's Kiana Session. Opening coverage of the Tonry Invitational on the campus of Yale University on Super Sunday afternoon as we will head back to the beam here momentarily. And on the beam for Southern will be Emily Call. To wait for scores to start coming back in. Sarah Wilson started off on the vault for Yale with a 9.300. That was the only score that we've seen so far. Sets up for her series. Front aerial to back handspring step out. Nicely done. Was a little timid in the front aerial. But the judges should give a connection. Cat leap to aerial. Holds on to the landing. Keeping it steady here. Leap combo, nicely done. And Southern is doing a great job on the balance beam. A balance beam is a hard event to start on and she just Dials in on that landing, beautifully done. Incredible landing for Emily Call. And then we'll go over to the vault to find Amy Teich for the Yale Bulldogs. And it's pretty incredible so far, Josh, just how much emotion is already going on in this event. As Yale, they're geeked up as we take a look at this vault from Teich. Beautiful, your chinkle full. It's a tiny hop, but that was. And then we take right a look there. at Kiana Session for on the bars for Bridgeport. Does a nice double layout. She over rotates a little bit. And another look at the beam dismount. And then we'll take a look at a floor pass while we're working on it from Springfield. Nope, we won't. So getting ready to go on the bars for Bridgeport is Joanna Chambers. It's all this action. Coming up on next on the beam for Southern will be Alexa Melanson. You'll see her behind the bar action here. A little bit of a long wait for the bars routine. So we're going to stay with this bars routine. Usually when there's a wait, with the bar score, the bars routine, is because the judge is trying to figure out how, what she wants to reward for the routine of the start value. And we just seen her open up with a, a ganger. And on to the bell, down to the low bar. Come Final loose. handstands, a little short. Beautiful blindfold, right into the double back. Tiny step on the landing, but that was a great routine for Joanna Chambers. Yeah, Chambers with her good routine there. Catherine DeCoin had the first bar score, saw her fall. It was a 7.850. Uh, Macias with a 9.050 on the 
beam as we go over to the floor. And this is Bridgeport, or excuse me, Springfield. And I believe this is Caitlin Lindsay. Two and a half twists. Oh. It looked like she twisted it twisted into the ground. Didn't uh, quite finish the twist yet. Not a great landing there as Sharon Sherry Wang. And as we take a look at Regan Walker for Yale getting ready for her vault coming up in just a few moments. She so this is beam for Southern. That this was is Melanson, gorgeous. Alexa Melanson. Sorry. Switch leap, straddle half, beautifully done. And she seems like she's just calm up there. She's smiling during the beam routine. <laughs> you can't fake confidence on beam, like I Absolutely said earlier. Absolutely not. And she just finishes it with an uh, aerial to back full. It seemed like it was a stuck landing to me. I don't know what the judges will see. As we go over to the vault, Lindsay Chia for the Bulldogs. So beautiful, your chain full. And she has room to spare, great distance, great height. As we take a look at the Springfield gymnasts being helped off after the floor exercise. Just a scary fall as we work through. Can we just talk about Yale's vault lineup? Yeah, that was Sherry Wang that we saw, I believe, on it. With all this action going on can get a little confusing from time to time. But sh the Bulldogs, as we talk about the Yale vault lineup, that is just kind of how, that is kind of their strongest event, one of their stronger events. As we take a look at the scores that have that have come through, or an Aviad with a 9-6-5-0, oh, Amy Teich with a 9-6, Reagan Walker, as we didn't see that one, a 9.775, Sherry Wang a 9-6-7-5, and then Sarah Wilson with a 9-3-0-0. Take a look at this bar routine here for Bridgeport. That was beautiful, blind full. She just, after the full turn, she just lands right in the handstand. And that's what the judges love to see is when you hit the handstands. Take a look at the Southern Connecticut State Owls. Getting ready for a beam routine, and we take a look to the bars live for Bridgeport. Little short on that handstand. Beautiful game And she just connects it right to the bell. Another handstand, just a little short. She's winding up for the dismount. Double layout dismount. Comes up a little short, has to put her hands down. Gabrielle Jordan. Actually, that is Catherine Doran. My apologies on the bars. And then there'll be one more coming up. Gabrielle Jordan for Bridgeport as we head to the beam. And it's Southern Connecticut State. Very nice mount there. This is Angel Lee. And, and the thing, Josh, that we kind of saw from Southern Connecticut last week was really pushing the envelope of the skills on the beam, trying some very difficult skills. Yeah, she, that first connection she just did is very difficult. And 
they're handling it well. Going first on beam is not easy, but they're handling the pressure very well. Yells off finished up on the vault. We watch Angel Lee on the beam. First rotation on the 2022 Tonry Invitational. Okay. Here she has her dismount, gainer full. Beautifully done. We don't see a lot of those dismounts in college gymnastics, let alone even elite gymnastics. It's nice to see them once in a while. So we'll head back to the floor. After the injury, Springfield took their entire team out of the arena for a moment to have a conversation, a scary moment a few moments ago with the gymnast falling for Springfield. So now the Falcons back out and getting ready for a, another floor exercise, as you can see. This is Sophie Parquet for Springfield. The fourth Falcon to go on the floor exercise. Early scores, yeah, with a 48.50 on the vault for their first rotation, anchored by a high score of 9.775 from Reagan Walker. Sophie on floor just opened up with a front lay to front full. A little shy on that leap combination. Very expressive in her choreography. Here she goes for her final pass. Double pike, beautifully done. Controls it with the lunge at the end. And that was just a great routine for Sophie, especially after going up after her teammate's injury. But you know what? One thing about being a part of a team, one goes down, you go after, and you hit for your team. And that's what Sophie just did. Over to the beam, Amelia Diaz for Southern Connecticut State. Caitlin Lindsay, the gymnast that was injured earlier on the floor exercise for Springfield College. So. Billy Diaz on the beam for the Southern Connecticut State Owls. Very tricky combo right there. And she just absolutely nails it. It's very aggressive in her in her choreography. Beautiful. A little shy on the full turn, but Vanessa is it with choreography. And she is just absolutely fierce on this event right now. Setting up for her leap series. That's very, very difficult. It's a ring leap after the switch leap. We're getting ready for a big dismount here. Front tuck full and nails the landing. And Amelia is going to be happy with that routine, and so, in, so is the Southern Owls. So the Southern Owls 
Amelia Diaz with a big dismount on the beam. So I think that floor exercise and beam, the only two events still going. As we head over to the floor, Devin Rozier for Springfield. Front full to front layout, sticks to landing. I'm really liking the spirit from Springfield after they just saw their teammate go down. And again, the, the floor exercise is just such the personality event. You get to see. Seems like she bailed out of that last pass right there. Finishing up that routine on the floor exercise, getting ready for a final beam routine from Southern. It'll be Maddie Tetsawe. On the beam. 2021 Tonry Invitational. Seems like her coach is going over to her, giving her some last words. So Yale finished up the vault with a 48.540. Bridgeport finished on the bars. Collective score of 45.550. Through four gymnasts, Southern Connecticut at 37.525. And through four gymnasts, 37.225 for Springfield on the floor exercise. So back to the beam, and, and it's just so great to see the camaraderie of this Southern Connecticut team. Their roster, huge. So many gymnasts, but every single one of them standing and cheering on their teammates. A very large roster for coach Byron Knox in his first year here in New Haven. <laughs> uh, Southern Connecticut State literally just down the road from us here at Yale. Here we go with the final beam routine of this rotation. Very difficult combination. Just had a little fall, but it's gonna pick it back up again with this switch leap to split leap. Beautifully done. A tad bit shy on that split leap. Beautiful side summy. Nice full turn. She gets ready for the dismount. Aerial to back full. Absolutely nails the landing. Great finish to the routine. As we head over to the floor, the final gymnast in the rotation for Springfield, Mackenzie McLeod. Well, it looks like we came in right in time for a great pass. Back one and a half to front full. Very difficult. It's giving, getting a lot of bonus for that pass. See the choreography and the dance moves. Setting up for another pass. It's essential that you show artistry in your floor routines. The judges like to see artistry. They like to see amplitude in your tumbling. They like to see how clean your form is and control out of your tumbling passes. Rudy, front Rudy, just a tad slide back. The wolf jump one and a half. Very difficult jump because 
You have to get it around. It's a great routine from McKenzie. That'll finish the scored rotations for these teams. So let's say we'll have an exhibition coming up on the beam for Southern. And we'll kind of finish the festivities here in rotation number one, uh, the 2022 Don Tonry Invitational on a Super Sunday. Glad you could join us. Evan Ellis, Josh McGee, enjoying some great gymnastics from the Lee Amphitheater on the campus of Yale University. Yale out to a slight lead after the first rotation. Yale has a all around competitor with Lindsey Chia and Sarah Wilson going for an all around today. Catherine McCoyne and Kiana Session both going to try for all around scores this afternoon for Bridgeport and then Southern and Springfield both not going to have a gymnast in every event today. So we can watch the beam exhibition here for Southern. Nice connection there. Front walk over to the front area, which is a bit off there. Had to take a fall, but gets back up. This leap combination, beautifully done. You know, this is a lot of, oh, takes another fall after that aerial. The but dismount. sticks the front full. And you know, it's, it's got to be nerve-wracking going last up on the balance beam. But you know what? It seems like she, she handled it well. So that'll finish up the action in rotation number one from the 2022 Tonry Invitational. When we return, it'll be rotation number two. And we'll have all the action here as you watch the Ivy League on ESPN. Stay with us. You don't want to miss all the gymnastics action we have for you this afternoon. One word to describe Barbara Tonry. And I think for me, it would have to be passionate. A passionate individual who loved her sport, fought for her student athletes, and really just described the word, the mantra that we on this campus live for, this is Yale. So the Yale Bulldogs and Springfield, as well as Bridgeport and Southern Connecticut. Yale was taking a decent lead decent margins of a lead after the first rotation. They were just absolutely amazing, just astronomical on the vault. And Springfield just picking up where they fell off. They were just absolutely amazing in that floor rotation. And then there goes Southern Connecticut State, who was just absolutely solid on the beam. Bridgeport was on the bars, had a little bit of a tough start for them on the uneven bars, but Beam is definitely a good event for them. And I think that's where they can gain back their points, 
But overall, a very, very great first rotation. On the bars, Springfield rotates around to the vault. Uh, on the floor will be uh, Southern Connecticut State and Bridgeport on the beam. You get to see Reagan Walker on the uneven bars during this rotation. She has such beautiful lines. Such a delight to watch on the balance beam too, which we'll see her on the balance beam later. Yeah, who also has, I believe, beam is their strongest event. They all have such beautiful gymnastics. They're so poised, they're precision. They know how to finesse the landings. And just great on beam. So we take a look at the Southern Connecticut or the Springfield College team getting ready for the vault. As we look at Caitlin Lindsay. So the warm-up continuing, getting ready to start things off in rotation number two. It'll be Yale on the bars, Bridgeport on the beam, Springfield on vault, and Southern on floor. And I saw Southern in training earlier and their energy on floor was great. I'm gonna see a lot of, you're gonna see actually a very interesting tumbling pass. It's one of my favorite that I saw today. It was a front one and a half to a back layout. And then another tumbling pass, front half to a back one and a half. It's just like never seen that before. It's very unorthodox. And, and I think a lot with the passion of Southern Connecticut has to do with their head coach, Byron Knox and just kind of brings that attitude to the team. So as we get ready to go here. Beautiful stuck landing on that front one and a half. Gearing up for her second pass. Back half to a front half twist. Came up a little short on that landing. Leap series. Torjate full to a wolf jump full. And she's just enjoying herself out there. And I think what Southern just needs to do is just hit their routines because it seems like they always enjoy themselves when they're doing the choreography. She's gearing up for her last tumbling pass. So far, so great. Back one and a half to a front tuck, saves the landing and finishes strong. That was a good start for Southern Connecticut State University on the floor exercise. Taking a look at the bar routine here. Take us through this dismount for Yale. Getting things started off well. And Oren is a good bar swinger. She actually opened up with a swing half to Takachev. Your chinkle. 
layout there from S Springfield. And we're on to the balance beam with University of Bridgeport. Here we have Olivia and Barlina. We're back to the floor exercise. Here's Sarah Ortiz. She's just waiting to go. You see her, she's just going over what she needs to do in her mind physically, what she needs to do. When you have a long wait like this, it's, it's important to keep your body warm, do anything you need to do. Taking a look at this vault from Springfield. Yeah, and she does a Yurchenko pike. She was just off the edge on that. Yurchenko, she didn't get the block that she needed to, but she still gets it around and has a pretty good landing. And again, back on floor with. We're back on floor with. Sarah Ortiz. Still a long wait there. Yeah, a lot going on here as. Seems like there's a something going on with the start value. Yeah, working on the scores here. Routine. Seems like the judges are having a start value issue there, but here on the balance team for University of Bridgeport is Catherine Alcoin. And Catherine Alcoin starting things off for Bridgeport. Switch sleep. Tuck one in the quarter. It's beautifully done. Just a little shy on that switch sleep there. Ash does a hitch kick to side area. Holds on to that there. Looks like her right foot was completely off, but she stays on. Aerial to round off. Anytime when you connect an aerial, it's very, very tricky because you're not going forward or backward. You're going sideward, sideways, and then you're trying to connect it into another scale. Yeah, Coin, one of our all-round competitors this afternoon. Very poised, polished, calm. Gainer Pike, tiny step on the dismount, but very, very good routine for Catherine Coyne. And then over to the floor exercise for Southern Connecticut. Sarah seems like she's just enjoying herself on the floor exercise. She gears up for her tumbling pass. Hands bring to front full. Sarah Ortiz. She has fun choreography. And she is a freshman from Middletown, New York. Finishes up with her floor routine.
a really good floor routine for Sierra. Over to the bars for the Yale Bulldogs. Beautiful Jaeger, great amplitude, holds that handstand. Nice bell to the low bar, back up to the high bar with a hit handstand. It's winding up for this dismount right here. Uh, blindfold to a double back and she just nails it. She's gonna be happy with that routine. That's Lindsay Chia for the L Bulldogs. A outstanding performance from Chia. She definitely proves herself to be a veteran for this team. And Yelp putting up some big scores. Uh, Sarah Wilson with a 9.825 on the bars. We head back to the vault. Check in on the Falcons. It's a good Gerchenko layout. <laughs> Looks like she landed and was like, went to go salute for the judge and tried to control her landing at the same time there. A 9.825. A great score there. Kendall Toy coming up on the bars for the Yale Bulldogs. And after Lindsay Chia's bar score of 985, it's just really going to go upwards from here. The next three girls can hit. So precise in every movement. Beautiful form, nice lines. She just really extends tall through the handstands. And this could be another big score for Yale. Just winding up for the dismount. Does a full twisting double back. Just tries to hold onto that landing and hurries up to salute. Great routine, though, for Kendall Toy. She is also a senior from Coppell, Texas. So just great routine so far from Yale. It'll be Sherry Wang up next for the Bulldogs. We head over to the floor, and what a tumbling pass. This is Sydney Wilson for the Southern Owls. I believe she opened up with a round off double pike. Towards the table to split, sweep full. Nicely done. This team has very, very good artistry, very expressive. Oh no. That's a round off one and a half. It looks like her feet were too in front of her to punch out of it, but finishes the routine. So you go over to the beam. We excited very well to see Reagan Walker for the Yale Bulldogs over on the bars here in just a moment. That was a beautiful combination. Oh, misses her foot on that full turn. Sometimes the easy skills are sometimes the hardest because you have to be so tedious about what you do. That she extra gets back concentration. Up. She goes down again on the switch side. Sometimes on the balance beam after so many falls, you just have to take a deep breath, think about what you're doing, remount the beam, finish to the best of your ability. Great gainer full, dismount, takes the landing. And that should be a routine that UB wants to drop.
You know, it's on the vault here. She does a soup half, cause half. Nicely done. Here was Reagan Walker's double layout. It was beautiful. Just clean form in the air. She just finds the landing. Just a tiny little shuffle back. Here's another dismount from Sherry Wayne. That was a beautiful full in. Just a little close to the bar. Has to take that step. But man, Yale is doing the job. A solid first rotation on vault. They go over to bars. And they're just hitting back to back. And you just saw Sherry Wang. Uh, that was. Sherry Wong just did that. Or an Avia full. there. So we head back to the beam. Here's Kiana Session, who's in that fourth spot on beam. Said we go over to the floor exercise with Southern Connecticut State. Beautiful double pike. Holds on to that lunge. And she extends into the switch half to Popa. Very nicely done. And like I said, floor is about expressing yourself, having fun. And she is doing that very well. Go for the second pass, front full to front tuck. Nicely done. Keeps it in bounds. May I say, Southern Connecticut State University has some of the best choreography here. They really engage the crowd and the judge, and they have fun most of all. A little out of control on that last pass there. It's a front handspring, Rudy. Overall good routine. Take a look at the Owls here at the 2022 Tonry Invitational. In the midst of the second rotation, glad you could join us here on a gorgeous Super Sunday afternoon. A little bit of snow this morning in the greater Connecticut area, but not dampening the spirits of a vocal and good-sized crowd here at the John J. Lee Amphitheater. Evan Ellis and Josh McGee, glad you could join us. And today is a day about honoring gymnastics and the gymnastics legacy at Yale University and honoring the pillars of Yale Gymnastics, Barbara and Don Tonry. As we watch Southern getting ready for another round of the floor exercise. That's Riley Macias. So this will be the fifth owl to go on the floor. She is a senior from Fitchburg, Massachusetts. <laughs> so 
And watch this beam routine here. Here's Kiana Session. Back lay out, step out. A little soft knees there. But overall solid. She does a back handsome step out, lay out, step out. Tiny little bobble there. Kiana Session, a freshman from Chandler, Arizona. Coming all the way from Chandler, Arizona to Bridgeport, Connecticut. Definitely a change in weather. Seems like she's doing a great job handling the pressure as a freshman. She's actually also in the fourth spot. Some people like to put their freshman as the leadoff gymnast or somewhere in the middle, but she finishes with that gainer full, sticks the landing. Third routine for Kiana. Well, I see a silver on the floor for Southern with a great tumbling pass and gearing up for another. Rudy to a little short there on the landing. Strong finish. So the vault and the bars all done up here. So we're taking a look at a previous tumbling pass. Some of that choreography, and then the big first tumbling pass it's for a very, Macias. Very different tumbling pass because she's going forward, but then she's also rebounding out of it backwards. So very different. You're going to see a couple of those tumbling passes, Rudy to back layout or back layout step out. Another pass from Noelle. She does a Rudy, you can tell. She landed a bit short. She buckled in her knees a little bit. But overall, great routine. Catherine Doran up next on the beam for Bridgeport, the Purple Knights. Seems like Kiana Session got a score of 975 on the balance beam. Yeah, waiting on that one to come up into the scores. We'll take a look at Doran here on the beam. Nice switch half to leap, to beat jump. Really nicely done. And beat jump to a side aerial to back full. In the tuck position, she just nails it. Great routine from Doran. One more beam participant coming up for Bridgeport. We head to the floor exercise, Hannah Zebdi. Front layout to front half, stag jump. Very controlled there. Here she is, gearing up for her second pass soon.
front handspring, Rudy to split leap. Nicely done. And some people, when they twist, sometimes it's hard to keep your legs together. It's hard to point your toes, but she shows great form in twisting. Taking a look at these tumbling passes. Southern is definitely doing their job on the floor exercise. And they'll have an exhibition coming up on the floor. And another 975 on the balance beam for University of Bridgeport. And that was by Catherine Doran. Here is Nicole Jevinette of University of Bridgeport, and she is a beautiful beamer. She is going to do a triple series, back handspring step out, layout, step out, layout, step out. Oh. Just misses the beam on the, the third flip. I saw her just nail it in warm up and in training. Just the nerves. Beautiful switch leap to split jump. Kind of the last opportunity for Bridgeport to adjust to put up a good score here in the second rotation. move to the third rotation. So a beat jump to a split path. Nicely done. She's gearing up for the dismount. It's going to be a round off one and a half twist. And she just finds that landing. Nicely done by Nicole. To head over to the floor and an exhibition for Southern. We just saw her in her opening pass, just stepped out of bounds. And here she goes for her second pass here. One and a half twist. What we Nicely can, done. What we can tell you is that Yale is going to leave the second rotation with the lead at 97.550. Southern with a 94.775. Springfield 94.750. And then Bridgeport with a, still have an opportunity to get a few more points. So we're waiting on one score there, but with a 92.350. So that is out there for these gymnasts as we get ready to move to rotation number three. Yale coming up on the beam. When we return, watching the Ivy League on ESPN. This is the 2022 Tonry Invitational. Stay with us, third rotation coming up next. And that is another tribute to Barbara Tonry who was on to tell the truth. So we're glad that you can join us here this afternoon. Barbara Tonry won nine Ivy League championships and followed that up uh, with seven more Ivy Classic championships in her time coaching women's gymnastics here at Yale University. And I can definitely say that no one fought harder for her student athletes than Barbara Tonry. As we Head to rotation number three. 
getting ready with the Bulldogs on the beam. Springfield will be on the bars. Southern on the vault. And Bridgeport on the floor exercise here in rotation number three. Evan Ellis and Josh McGee, glad you could join us on a Super Sunday afternoon. Getting ready for this third rotation. And what a performance so far today. We were talking about it in the in the break about Yale has come out. They have executed what they wanted to do and have stormed out to a big lead. Exactly. They are the team to beat today. Their margin is huge. And they've just gone hit after hit after hit. First it was Vault. And we saw Reagan, Oren, and they were just absolutely great. And Chia, Lindsay Chia as well absolutely. with big numbers. Lindsay Chia, 9750 on the Vault, 9725 on the bars. Oren Aviad with his 9675 on the bars. Reagan Walker right now with a 9.775 on the vault and a 9.80. Sherry Wang with a huge bars performance as well for the Bulldogs. So they'll move over to the beam. And Josh, I know that you've been waiting for this rotation all day long. Yes, I would just like to start with Reagan Walker, her balance beam. Just talk about precision, talk about artistry, talk about lines, she does it all. And I would also like to mention Sienna Cho, beautiful beam worker. Sienna Cho, the Yale captain, with the heartfelt words before the meet this afternoon honoring her former coach, Barbara Tonry. So Andy Lee and the Bulldogs uh, getting ready for a beam rotation. And you definitely think, Josh, these are going to be some big numbers from Yale in this rotation. I definitely have no doubt in the scoring. If the judges do what's right, then we'll see the big scores. So big scores coming from the Bulldogs here as we'll see everything getting going. It'll be Oren Aviad leading things off for Yale on the, actually, I apologize. I can't read. <laughs> Emma Magic Caffrey starting things off for the Bulldogs on the beef. I just had my eyes pointed at the wrong part of the paper here. So uh, there's Bridgeport getting some final last minute instruction and Southern will be on the vault to get things going. It'll be Brianna Daniels leading things off for the Owls on the vault. Byron Knox adjusting the vault, making one last adjustment as the Owls get ready to start things off. Over on the floor for Bridgeport, they'll start with Catherine O'Coin. So, floor exercise where Bridgeport will start with Catherine O'Coin. Very playful floor music. Interesting choreography. Well, that is it cranked it up. It was playful, and now it's time to get down to business. <laughs> She's going to start off with this opening tumbling pass. That's a Rudy. Nicely done. They didn't quite hit that split leap right there. It's a switch ring with the half twist. Very, I love how she goes into character. She does a front lay to a front full. Nicely done. Here she is, she's just gearing up for her final pass. One and a half to a front pike. And beautiful finish for Catherine O'Coin. Catherine O'Coin getting things going in the floor for the Bridgeport Purple Knights.
So we head over to the beam. Here's Emma Magia Capri for the Yale Bulldogs. She finishes it off with a pipe gainer. She sticks it. Here's Emma Manger Capri. Yeah, she was on the beam for Yale. And we head over to the vault for Southern. Lexi Brocker. Just absolutely nails that your chinkle full. Beautifully done. She stays sh just tight and straight in the air. Gets the good height and distance that she needs. That vault is out of a 9.9 .9 start value. And we're back on the floor with Joanna Chambers. Chambers for Bridgeport and the Purple Knights. She's a junior from Georgetown, Texas. Joanna Chambers. Here she goes. Starting off with her opening pass. Front handspring, double full. Very difficult pass. That's an E skill right there. She starts off with. Like I said before, I think it's cool how these girls really, really get into character with the theme of their floor routine, with the theme of their music. And that's what, is, that's what she's doing. Here she is, gearing up for another tumbling pass. She goes to front handspring, front full to front layout. Controlled lunge out of it. And I like how their, their floor routines are very different from each other. We just saw Catherine O'Coin with a much more upbeat and cheerful, and now we go on to more of the intense music. Yeah, this is with Joanna Chambers. Chambers. As she finishes strong, beautifully done. And I think all the eyes in the building getting ready to go to the balance beam because Reagan Walker coming up on deck for the Yale Bulldogs. As I said, Reagan Walker has beautiful beam work. Reagan Walker is actually a 2017 Nasty Looking Cup qualifier. And when she competed there, she actually placed third in the all around. So she is a well accomplished gymnast. We're back on vault. And this is vault for Southern. And this is Hannah Zebdi. Handsome Dan in the house too, by the way. He's the number one celebrity. Let's take a look at Zebdi on the vault. Does your chinko tuck full? Tiny hop on the landing, beautifully done. It looks like she and her team are very happy, as they should be. She gets the appropriate block that she needs to actually get up off the table. Gets the good amplitude and block off the table. Very good vault. Couple of words from Coach Byron Knox. I actually competed against his grandson. Okay. Yeah. It's really hard to beat a <laughs> great gymnast. Byron Byron Knox was a 16-year head coach at Bridgeport. 
Moving over to Southern Connecticut stays. We're taking another look at Zebdi on the ball. Yeah, she just gets that block off the table. Just twists it or twists twist it around and finds the landing tiny little hop. This is going back to the beam for Yale. And that was the dismount from Sarah Wilson. Very nicely done. Looking back at some of the action here, the Springfield College over on the bars. And back to the floor. Here is Alexis Richardson. One and a half to front tuck. Nicely done. Lacked a little amplitude on the second flip, but. Alexis Richardson, a grad student from Corum, New York. She's gearing up for her next pass. One and a half to front tuck. Nicely done. Finishes it up strong. Beautifully done. And here's Reagan Campbell on the balance beam. Uh, Reagan Walker for Yale on the beam. This is the one we've been waiting for. Walker with Big Beautiful. numbers today. Absolutely gorgeous. Just the amplitude on that layout step out, the extension through her legs, the toe point. And she is so poised and elegant on this event. This is her event right here. Front aerial to split jump, gorgeous. Reagan Walker has the highest score of the day so far on the vault. Yale with a great performance on the bars. They hold six of the top seven scores today on the bars. Another leap combo. Beautiful switch leap to split leap to beat jump. This is by far perfect. Seems like she's gearing up for the dismount. Tiny little hop on the landing. Aerial full. I don't know what other deduction the judges could be seeing other than that tiny hop. Just that a little bit of a hop at the end, but the- Exquisite routine. Great routine and the congratulation of her teammates as well as the big crowd that's assembled here, including Handsome Dan, I saw him. He's here somewhere. Trying to keep him away. I, I I don't know if he would be better on the on the beam or the floor exercise. I think floor exercise might be Handsome Dan's uh, number one uh, skill. Can't confirm though. I mean the beam's too scary. The it, bars it, are too scary. Can't hold. Well, you can't. No <laughs> thumbs. You can't hold the bar. Yes. You so, make a point there. Yeah. It's a good point. Here is Kiana <laughs> Session. Kiana Session over on the floor exercise for Bridgeport. Session so far has the top score on the balance beam with a 9.750. Now, Yale has only gotten one score in on the balance beam so far, so we're waiting for the Bulldogs on the beam. After Reagan Campbell went, I could – I. I think it's. I think she just took over that lead. Yeah, Reagan Walker. On the balance beam. Reagan, Reagan Walker, Walker. Excuse me. Uh, on the balance beam for the Bulldogs with a great routine, and and on the beam coming up next for Yale is Lindsey Chia, who has just had incredible performances in every event so far this year. She's got the second best vault of the day so far. She is going for the all around. One of four gymnasts trying that is competing in every event. So we'll get to see Lindsay Chia here momentarily. And Yale put up such big numbers on the bars earlier that Chia, with just the fifth best score for the Bulldogs, that's saying a lot of how well Yale has done today as we take another look at Cassidy Hirolamo from Newington, Connecticut. She does a beautiful Yurchenko full, tiny little hop on the landing. 
We're back on the balance beam with Lindsay, Lindsay Chia. Chia. Senior from Windsor, Ontario. Just a little off on that aerial there. Beautiful extension. Beautiful combination. Switch sleep to straddle one and a quarter. And Lindsay has done it again. Another stuck landing. Another beautiful routine. That was gorgeous. Lindsay Chia, senior from Windsor, Ontario. Leader of the Bulldogs. Someone who has had an incredible career here at Yale. And for Yale, it'll be coming up with Kendall Toy next on the beam. So as we get ready to see Kendall Toy on the beam, let's head over to the floor exercise and the Bridgeport Purple Knights. Kiana Session. Beautiful front full to front layout, controls it very well. Freshman from Chandler, Arizona. Here's Crystal gearing up for her last pass. Beautiful Rudy. Little soft in the knees, but overall great routine. So some scores continuing to roll in as we head to the beam and Kendall Toy. Senior from Koppel, Texas, coming up on the balance beam. Here's another beautiful beam worker. They really, really have beautiful beam. They're very light on their feet, very poised. Such great precision, the sharpness in their movements, just something to watch. Very difficult leap, it's called a switch ring. See a lot of elite gymnasts actually compete the skill. Split leap to sheep jump. Another difficult jump right there, but she just connects it together. Beautifully done. Kendall Toy, the senior, biomedical engineering major at Yale. Kendall's gearing up for her dismount. Aerial to back full. Absolutely nails it. She's been a great on the beam this year. A third place finish in the season opener here at Yale. Third place on the beam and then a second place finish on the beam earlier on the road at Penn State. So we head over to the bars. And a dismount. She does a double layout. Seems like she lacked rotation there. She had to take a big step forward. And that was Tori Sipes, the junior from Windham, Massachusetts. Yeah, Windham, Mass. So we're waiting on some of those scores, and, and you said it earlier, Reagan Walker, 9.825 on the beam. That is tops yes, in the right. competition so far. Reagan Walker continues. is just an exceptional beam worker, and honestly, her beam is just 
definitely I see as one of the top threats to college gymnastics. Her beam can take her far. And then her going right before Lindsay Chia, and then after Lindsay Chia, Kendall Toy. It really sets up, sets the tone. And then coming up for the Bulldogs on the beam next, Saina Cho, the senior captain of the Bulldogs. Her lone scored event today. Native of British Columbia. Sociology major. Has twice made the ECAC all academic team. Says that bars are her favorite event, but here we are on the bar. And we go to the <laughs> bars. A little? A little weird on that cast handstand there. Finishes it off with the double back. Had to take two steps back on the landing. Here she is. Saina Cho on the balance beam. Yeah, Saina Cho, senior captain of the Bulldogs. Front toss to Rafova. Beautifully done. And I think she's proven herself to be strong during this whole competition. And the score actually for Kendall Toy was a 9.825. Yeah. Another big number for Yale, Ring and Walker with a 9.825. Little bobble there. Seems like this could be nerves, but she's just gearing up for her dismount here. One and a half twist takes the step. Saying it show to the congratulations of her teammates on this Yale gymnastics team. This right. indeed was another strong beam rotation for Yale on beam. Had a little bit of mistakes in the beginning of this lineup, but towards the end, they're just so sharp and they just go out and do what they need to do to deliver for their team. We might have a exhibition coming up for the Bulldogs. Southern Connecticut's already moved on to starting to adjust the bars as they will finish up on bars. It'll be the Bulldogs on the floor exercise to finish things off here this afternoon. Still waiting on a few scores to see how things will shake out after this third rotation. You know, the point of the exhibition is just to get the gymnast out there for the experience because oftentimes in a lineup, you do need that other gymnast to step in when someone is having a bad warm up. And I think this is a good time. And you, and you get a opportunity to compete in front of people. You know, you you know, you work every day in the gym behind closed doors just with your teammates just exactly. to get in, in front of other people, in front of your friends, your family. Absolutely. And, and just great to see fans in the building here today. Uh, a great afternoon of action here in New Haven. So I believe that's what we're waiting on. Will be an exhibition on the beam for the Yale Bulldogs and.
Then we'll head to our fourth and final rotation. The score came in for Cena Cho. It's a 9.025. Yeah, Kendall Toy with the 9.8. Two five Reagan Walker nine eight two five, and that are those are the two top scores on the balance beam through the three rotations. Yale out in front one forty four eight zero zero here in the third. Yes, bring step out, Lale. Step out, nicely done. Switch leap to split jump half to another split jump half. Beautiful combination there. Nicely done. Here she does an aerial, a little off there. And she fights to stay on. A little off on the full turn there. Gearing up for the dismount. Gainer Pike sticks the landing. Absolutely beautifully done. Beautiful dismount. Great dismount for Yale Exhibition here in rotation number three. Yale leads the Tonnery Invitational 145.050. Southern Connecticut in second with 142.650. The Bulldogs will be on the floor exercise when we come back to the John J. Lee Amphitheater. You're watching the Tonnery Invitational on the Ivy League on The Yale Bulldogs are Tonry strong in 2002. This is the 2002 Barbara and Don Tonry Invitational. And Andy Lee's Bulldogs doing a great job of honoring that legacy this afternoon because Josh McGee, they are out in front after three rotations. And now they get to show their personalities as we head to the floor exercise for the Bulldogs in Rotation number four. But Yale with a big lead. Yes. Uh, I'd love three. to see the highlights of this. That rotation was definitely um, Reagan Walker and Kendall Toy. So the 2022 Tonry Invitational on a Super Sunday afternoon. The Yale Bulldogs out to a 145-050 lead. Great performances today, and I think when we look back at this one, Reagan Walker will not be competing on the floor, but just an incredible job for her through her three events. 9.775 on the vault, follow that up with a 9.80 on the bars, and then the Bulldog, and then Reagan Walker with a 9.825 tying Kendall Toy for the best beam performances of the day. As of right now, the leader of this, the all around is Kiana Session. And we've seen Session with some very solid performances today from Bridgeport. Bridgeport and Yale, the only two teams that have all-around competitors. Uh, Lindsey Chia, Sarah Wilson for the Bulldogs, Catherine Coyne, and Kiana Session for Bridgeport. So those are the four gymnasts that are competing in all four skills this afternoon. So Bridgeport on the vault, Yale will be on floor, Springfield on beam, and the Southern Connecticut Owls on the 
bars. Yeah, they have such a huge margin right now. Almost two and a half points away from Southern Connecticut State University, who's actually in second place right now. Yeah, that's a big, a big margin. Um, Yell looking for the win after defeating Southern in a dual meet last week. I think the most important thing that they need to do is just have fun and enjoy their, and just enjoy themselves. And, and that's what the floor exercise does. It, it's the personality skill, right? With, you know, you're talking technical when you're talking about the vault, the bars. With the floor exercise, it is technical, but you get to see each gymnast's personality, get to see some flair, get to see some energy that maybe you don't see in the three other apparatus. Yeah, it is, it's essential that the gymnasts, you know, express. Gymnastics is already a sport where, you know, you have to be focused, you have to be serious, you have to be on top of your game, but the floor exercise definitely just relieves so that. Take a look at some of the highlights from that third rotation as we get ready to start things off in, or that was from the third rotation, Well, as we get ready to start things off here in the fourth rotation. Here's some real... And it appears that Southern Connecticut is going to get going first over on the bars. That's where everybody's looking right now with Lee or with Delaney Fields on the bars for Southern to start things off here. Has to muscle that handstand. Has to do it again. Seems like she's trying to cast into front grip. Just does the ganger, just falls short of the ganger. Feels a senior from Denver, Colorado, as we get ready to head over to the floor. And Yale getting things started with Sarah Wilson. Wilson, one of two Yale gymnasts going for the all around this afternoon and fumbling pass. Ooh, that was pretty for the sophomore from Alpharetta, Georgia. Beautifully done. leap series switch leaps to switch half ring very difficult jump in gymnastics she connects it together on down to the choreography and Sarah Wilson is actually second in the all around after the third rotation I think going on into floor is the event where you can just enjoy yourself. I think this would just help her case even more. She's the final pass left. Final pass for Sarah Wilson. She finished it off with a double pike. Beautifully done. Lunges out, shows control. I don't think she out, went out of bounds. No flag was raised, and that was awesome for Sarah Wilson. Nice job. Great way to finish her competition for today. Sarah Wilson starting things off on the floor exercise for the Yale Bulldogs. The final rotation of the 2022 Tonnery Invitational. So we head over to the beam. It's Rayanna Schultz leading things off for Springfield College. She's gearing up for her dismount. Hike gainer. Beautifully done. Has to hurry up and salute the judge after that stuck landing. She's a health science major from Mays Landing, New Jersey. And to the vault and the Purple Knights, Springfield College. Here's Catherine Dorn. Catherine does your chinko pike. Takes a little hop on the landing, a little step. Nicely done. She should be happy with that vault. And Southern Connecticut on the bars. Here's Cassidy 
Carol Lama. It's a senior from Newtown, Connecticut. She is doing the job on this event. Just beautiful handstands, beautiful lines. So losing a little form there, but nice double back to finish it up. Just takes a little tiny hop on the landing. So Carolamo, the senior from Newtown, Connecticut. And that team got some spirit. The the owl necklace, that's good. It, it's, you know, it, it doesn't have nearly as much flair as the turnover chain in Miami, or but it's a good look for the owls. To the floor, actually, yep, then we'll go to the floor. And the Yale Bulldogs and Amy Teich, second Bulldog here to go. Amy opening up with a double pike, tries to keep it in bounds, takes the extra step. Great amplitude on that skill right there. Nice sleep combination. And may I mention, it must feel great to be leading and in going into one of the funnest events. Front lay to front full, controls it with the lunge. Very intricate choreography there. Most of all, she's having fun while doing it. Here's Amy gearing up for her last pass. It's a double back. She keeps it in bounds. Little loss of control, but great finish. A lot of power on that tumbling pass as well. Lots of power. Beautiful finish. Yeah, already two hit routines from their first two gymnasts. We have a Magia Capri will be up next for the Yale Bulldogs. We head over to the beam. And Springfield Falcons. Nice guy, gainer dismount. Gainer Pike has to take that step. She's losing her balance a little bit on that landing, but she seems happy about it. And Lee Ju is taking another look at this vault from Bridgeport. She does a Yurchenko layout. A lot of force on that vault. Here was Kiana Session, the leader after the third rotation. She does a Yurchenko full in a tucked position. Seems like she stuck it. A lot of rotation, a lot of going through that off the table. So Emma Machia Capri up third for the Yale Bulldogs. Sarah Wilson a 9.750 on the floor. So the first Bulldog to Put a score in on the floor exercise. That's good for second overall, the 9750. Uh, Mackenzie McLeod, a 9775. Leader in the clubhouse on the floor exercise today with the Bulldogs on this final rotation. It's opening up with the front handspring, front full to front layout. Keeps it in bounds. Nicely done. It'll be Lindsay Chia next for Yale. As we watch Magia Capri. That was beautifully done. Make sure she hits that 180 degrees in that leap. And Yell here, not only do they have beautiful work on the balance beam, but they really showed their art artistry and their floor choreography. And that's something that's important to highlight there. She's gearing up for her second pass. She's just in the moment of the music. She's gearing up for this tumbling pass. Ending with the double pike. Just comes up, with, comes up short on the double pike.
Beautiful finish. That was Emma Magna Capri. Magna Capri as we head over to the beam. Springfield on the beam. She was a off on that back layout step out there. The combination the series. This is Callie Morris. Switch leap, switch half. Difficult leap series there. She stays on. Tied a little bobble on that full turn. Front walk over. Has to save that. Nice save on that. Ends with the back full. Under rotated just a tad bit. Has to take a step forward. Uh, she gets the congratulations of her teammates. Taking a look at a Bridgeport vault. She does a front handspring. It's Crystal Gwynn. Beautiful vault. Actually, handspring. my apologies. That is Joanna Chambers. Head over to the bars for a little replay action. She does a blindfold to a double back. It's nicely done. And now live at the bars. Beautiful Jaeger. Goes up to the handstand. A little shy on the handstand. Beautiful handstand at the top. Oh, looked like she was trying to go for a blind full or a blind half and just didn't quite get it around. Maybe it was the dowel of her grips. Like I said earlier during this time, you have 30 seconds to remount the bar. And in this moment, you just really, really have to let go of the fall. Just let go of the fact that it happened and take a deep breath, remount the bar, finish your routine to the best of your ability. And I think this is what she's going to do here. Here she goes. Blind full. Takes the extra giant swing. Does a double back. Takes a little step on the double. Great way to end that routine after a fall. And we'll head over to the floor exercise where we'll check up with the Yale Bulldogs. And I think it's what everybody's been waiting for. It's Lindsay Chia on the floor. And Lindsay just has been amazing all competition. She's beautiful on this event here. She actually scored a 9.75 on vault and a 9.725 on the uneven bars. Let's see what she can do on the floor exercise. She had a slight fall on the beam took away some points, but now we'll see Lindsay Chia on the floor. She just opened up with a Rudy to a split leap. Leaps are absolutely beautiful. She just extends through that torsion tape full to the wolf jump, the one and a half twist. She's really, really good at being expressive. Great musicality. And every member is. of the Yale team dancing along. She's gearing up for that final pass. She's going to want to finish strong here for her team. 
Beautifully done. Back one and a half to front layout. That was gorgeous. Yeah, I think that's form. what you call a Beautiful. strong finish for Lindsay Chia on that tumbling pass. Lindsay Chia, game. senior on the Yale Bulldogs women's gymnastics team. A great floor performance. Could very well be the performance that helps Yale seal the deal. And you can tell like how detailed her gymnastics is. You see that she really focuses on her detail. Point to toes, legs together, straight knees. It's all about the details in gymnastics. The last time this competition was contested was back on February 1st of 2020, literally a world ago. And the Yale Bulldogs were tops on the day over Bridgeport and Southern Connecticut State. As we take a look at some tape back on the beam. And wow, she was completely off on that aerial and still managed to get that full around. Good for her. Now we're on the bars. That was a beautiful cast handstand. Just a little late on that turn, but nails the double back. And this is live on the bars. Southern Connecticut State. Looks like she had a little trouble there. Does a toe on to a bell. Nicely done. Just gonna go back up and pass to handstand. Short on that handstand. Nice toe on to double back. Beautiful dismount. That's Bianca Leon. As we head to the floor. Kendall Toy for the Yale Bulldogs. Already one tumbling pass through. Kendall Toy just scored a 9.825, the last rotation on the balance beam. Here she is with her Second pass, front leg to front full. Little loss of control, but she keeps it in bounds, and that is all that matters at this point because Yale is just having a day. So Yale trying to defend the Tonry Invitational title. First place finished back in 2020. Finished second in 2019 of the four teams. Just the final pass left. Can she get it around? Yes, yeah, she can. Beautiful handspring to Rudy with the split jump. And what a great finish for the senior Kendall Toy. Still waiting on scores from Lindsay Chia. Uh, in Emma Maggia Capri was the last Yale floor score. We got a 9.050. Amy Tice, 9.475. Sarah Wilson, 9.750. Wilson finished today with a 38.450 in the all around as we take a look at this dismount. So it appears that it's going to be Wilson with a half a point, or half a tenth of a point, five one hundredths of a point, if you will, over Kiana Session. Are we are waiting on a score from Lindsay Chia? But I think that might mean Sarah Wilson is unofficially our all-around champion this afternoon. 
Yeah, Sarah's been just consistent across the board. On vault, she's great vault, great bars, beam. We just saw her on floor, and she just did that great floor routine to lead off for the Yale Bulldogs. And that's the second best floor score that we've seen yet. Now we are still waiting for a couple of scores from Yale. So Bulldogs are still on the floor working on the through the beam for Springfield, I believe. That Southern is done over at the bars. And Bridgeport done on the beam as we are on the vault as getting ready to go on the floor exercise is Sherry Wang, the final Bulldog that will be scored this afternoon on the floor exercise. Showing a bit of personality through her choreography here. Beautiful full in, very difficult. A little short on the landing. A lot of amplitude on that jump though. Very high into the air. Does a switch half to Popa, beautifully extended. And I think all she has to do is just land these passes and the Yale Bulldogs have won. A little short on that double back there. But the risk factor of some of these moves is going for the height and the power helps you out, correct? Some Absolutely. Here's Sherry going for her last pass. One and a half to front layout, just absolutely Nails the landing. And the Bulldogs are happy with that routine. Lindsay Chia, 9775 on the floor exercise. That is tops in the clubhouse right now in a tie with Mackenzie McLeod. On the floor. So that will finish Lindsay Chia, a 3-8. 38025 in the all around. Sarah Wilson will win the all around here this afternoon on for the Tonry Invitational. And I believe we're going to see a floor exhibition routine coming up here in just a moment as we watch over on the beam. As you just saw, Mackenzie just finished off with a great dismount. She did side slamming to tuck full. Very unorthodox dismount there. See a lot of gymnasts dismount from the end of the beam. She dismounts it from the side. And this is Saina Cho, the Yale captain, coming out for a exhibition floor routine here in the Tonnery Invitational. Here she goes. It's a very different tumbling pass. She goes front half to a back one and a half. You don't see those very often. They're very rare. And I think that's what sets a gymnast apart is when you can do unique things and make them look great. And as we wait on a couple more scores, I can tell you that it appears it's the Bulldogs day as we see Cho. It truly is. We just saw that last routine from Cherry Wong and it was beautiful. Kendall Toy also a 9.775. Moves her into a three-way tie on the floor for the top score this afternoon. As we see this tumbling pass. Tearing up her last pass. Chest down slightly, but she gets to her feet. 
and finishes with a smile. Saint Cho, captain of the Yale Bulldogs, to the congratulations of her teammates who are unofficially the champions of the 2022 Barbara and Don Tonry Invitational at Yale University. And I believe this is a beam exhibition. Sherry Wang with a 9-7-0-0. So the Bulldogs four scores over 9-7 on the floor. That's fantastic. You know, you always want to look for those scores that are 9-7 plus to carry your team on each event. And so that the fans in the stands can get t-shirts and join the 9.7 club. As that's been the case here today, when a gymnast gets a 9-7, t-shirts go into the stands. But just an incredible day of competition here at Yale. The Yale Bulldogs, unofficially the Tonry Invitational Champions. Right now a 139, or 193, I can't read, 193.525. Overall score as a team today. And that takes into account all of the floor scores. So everything is in. Spring. Yale with a great day. Springfield, it's balance beamer. Exhibition just finished off. The gain are full. So as the teams start to kind of decompress here we are going to take a break when we return we'll give you the final scores tell you about the results of this meet but the Yale Bulldogs victorious this afternoon the Barbara and Don Tonry Invitational the 2022 Barbara and Don Tonry Invitational it's going to the Yale Bulldogs. The score is going to stay at home. Yale unofficially with 193.525. Uh, second place, Southern Connecticut State. Great performance from the Owls today at 189.400. And then Bridgeport and then Springfield. And, and these are four programs that have competed in this meet for so long. And we're happy that another edition of it has been a great entertainment on your Super Sunday afternoon. The Yale Gymnastics family in the building, the fans in the building, and what a great day for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs defend their Tonnery Invitational title. The last one contested back in 2020 and until then. So for Yale this afternoon, Sarah Wilson, the sophomore from Alpharetta, Georgia, is our overall champion, but the real winners are all of the gymnasts that competed this afternoon. So for Josh McGee, I'm Evan Ellis, where this afternoon there's one thing we can tell you is true. The Bulldogs win the Ton Invitational in 2022. All presentations of ESPN are, all presentations of the Ivy League on ESPN are archived online. This has been a presentation of ESPN. Good night, everybody.